Did you know that not every headphone or microphone jack that connects to a USB-C adapter will work seamlessly with your smartphone? Today's video is all about figuring this out. We'll dive into why these adapters are essential, decode the mystery behind the DAC chips and find out which ones stand out. Stick around! Hey creators, Mario here from Mspace Log. Today I've done the legwork testing 8 different adapters so you can find a perfect fit for your microphone setup. But before getting into that, let me tell you why do we need these adapters. Well, if you're gearing up to record any kind of content on your smartphone, getting top-notch sound quality is a must. But here's the catch. When it comes to plugging in your trusty microphone's 3.5 jack into your smartphone, the game changes. Gone are the days when the smartphones had a dedicated port for headphones and mics. Now it's all about that USB-C type life. So how do we bridge the gap between our beloved headphones and microphones and our shiny new smartphones? This is where these dedicated adapters come into place. These nifty gadgets offer a simple plug-and-play solution, allowing you to connect your favorite headphones or any microphone that comes with a 3.5 jack seamlessly to your latest smartphone. Whether you're into podcasting, conducting interviews, or even doing voiceovers, having the right adapters ensures smooth connectivity between your microphone and smartphone guaranteeing optimal sound quality every time. Now, when you search for this kind of adapters, you may feel a little overwhelmed by the options and wonder if you're making the right choice. You probably come across tons of options and certainly saw advertisements boasting about TAC or DAC chips being included. But what exactly DAC or DAC mean? DAC or DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter and it's a vital component found in these adapters. But why it is so important? Well, let's break it down. The DAC is responsible for translating digital audio signals into analog ones, so your microphone can pick them up. In the past, this DAC used to be housed inside the smartphone, right alongside that 3.5mm port. However, with the disappearance of that port in favor of space-saving designs, for example for larger batteries in smartphones, Having a DAC built into your adapter is essential to ensure your microphone works as intended. Now, check this out. I've got a whooping 8 different adapters in my hand. But why so many, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Not all of them work as they should. And I've been on a quest to find the ones that play nice with my microphone setup. Since then, I've been ordering and testing ordering and testing until I found some winners. So today I'm going to put each one of these adapters through a sound test, so you can hear which ones deliver the best sound quality. That way you can save some cash by investing only in the ones that truly rock. For testing, I'll be using the Boya M1 Lab mic, this one right here, that is a fantastic budget-friendly mic that punches a really nice sound. Now you'll hear a phrase repeat all several times on each one of the adapters so you can analyze for yourself the sound quality on each one of them. But first, let's hear how it sounds when connected directly to a Samsung A70 which still has that trusty built-in 3.5mm port. Hi, this is Mspace Log, and if you're enjoying the content you are watching right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. Now, getting back to my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which unfortunately lacks that port. First in the lineup is the Froloop L-shaped connector from AliExpress. It is supposed to be compatible with the Samsung S22, boasting a built-in DAC and i5 for HD voice, all for just 6 bucks. Hi, this is Mspace Log, and if you're enjoying the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. Next we got this also L-shaped connector, brandless from the Timu store. It offers similar specs to the last one but costs it half the price. 
Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you enjoy the content right now, please consider like and subscribe. Taking the third spot is this Rockerin adapter, also from Timu Store. It's got this sleeky cable and packs all the tech feature, but it was just a little pricier than the previous one. More exactly, a buck more. Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you enjoy the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. At this point, I was feeling a bit frustrated with the results. The sound quality was not so good, so I decided to spend a little more and went after the official Samsung adapter, setting me back 10 bucks, the priciest one so far. Straight from the store, I had high hopes for this one. So, how did it go in the test? Let's find out. no sound at all. Perfect. These results got me thinking. Without testing my mic on the A71, I might have blamed the mics for the issues instead of the adapters. But hey, that's why we test first, right? Even though I knew the problem was with the adapters and not with the microphone, I decided to continue my search until I found the one that really sounded good to my ear. That's when I remember a brand that always delivered top-notch connectors, Ugreen. Not being sponsored or anything, but I had great experiences with their products in the past. So, I decided to wrap not one, but three different adapters from them. Okay, I just threw a last one from a brand called Connexon, just for a good measure. Now, let's give this final four a listen. First up, the L-shaped one from Ugreen, setting me back around 10 bucks, same as the Samsung one. Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you're enjoying the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. Then we got the Chord variant, also from Ugreen, at half the price. Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you enjoy the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. For the third Ugreen connector, I went for a different approach and got one that lets you not only connect your 3.5mm jack, but also hook up a USB-C charging cable so you can juice up while recording. Pretty neat, huh? And all just for $6. Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you enjoyed the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. And finally, the Connexon Code Adapter, a supposedly quality brand that offers really good sound quality. This last one cost me around 8 bucks. Hi, this is MSpaceLog, and if you enjoyed the content right now, please consider hitting like and subscribe. So, the results. For me, and from what I just listened, the Connexon one gets the first place. It has a crisp and clear sound with a few to none background noise. Coming in second, I would place the L shape and the chord variant from Ugreen, I guess. They boast a very good sound by picking up less noise, even though it's not as crispy as the Connexon one. At third place, the dual variant from Ugreen. This last one is also very good, but the sound doesn't look so crisp. Also, it picks up a little more of the background noise. About the first four, I will just put them aside. They didn't sound very good, and for the Samsung one, well, as you heard, the price and brand don't always guarantee the best quality. In this case, it was even worse with no sound at all. So, there is more to these adapters than meets the eye, but by now you've got a very good idea of what to look for to beef up your filmmaking arsenal. I'll just drop a link for the winners in the description below. And that concludes our journey into the world of budget 3.5mm to USB-C adapters for microphones. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more content. Finally, if you already have very good sound quality in your videos, but you still don't get that many views or subscribers, you may be missing a great tool, a script for your videos. Having a proper script is key, and you can learn how to make one in this video. 
where I teach you how to write a script in four easy steps so you can improve your content creation process. And that's a wrap. From diving into the world of budget smartphone adapters for microphones, to understanding why we need them, decoding the meaning of DAC chips, and even finding which ones really shines, thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop them in the comments below. My name is Mario, this is M Space Log, and until next time, keep on exploring, keep on creating. See you in my next one.